Hey, what's going on YouTube? Antayami here with another video on how to load Smash Mods on your 5.5.2 Wii U. If you already update your Wii U, well, we have a solution for that. I know there's tons of videos already out there um, demonstrating how to already get these already downloaded on your Wii U. I understand that. And I'm just here just throwing out another video just Oh, a little bit of perspective and people still get confused or things like that maybe I can clear out some stuff but um without further ado we will get into this video so uh, I will be throwing all these links in the description so you guys don't have to worry about like scrambling them they will be in the description so make sure you guys follow look down there look away so this is the Big Mac daddy of what you need here so you definitely need this um, website this website here will have some download links that you need to download and put on your SD card so you can get your Smash Mods running and make it go smooth sailing. The Smash Explorer, um, that's something you're doing with the modding or you adding stuff to the um, to your mod pack and things of that nature. So you don't really need it um, if you're already downloading somebody else's mod pack per se. Um, if you have like a friend's mod pack or if you have Anything that you know is already set up and it functions, um, they can send it to you or whatever, and you can download it and you can play straight from there. But I'll get into those steps a little bit later. For right now, you need to download the SD Caffeine version 1.3. Make sure you download that. And also download the Homebrew Launcher 1.4. And make sure you have those downloaded and um, somewhere safe for right now. They're going to be on your SD card later, but we'll get into where we need to put those in a bit. Um, so make sure you have these two downloaded and we're about to go ahead and enter your folders file of your SD card or the root of your SD card. We're going to get started from there. Some things to keep in mind, um, the more you put on your SD card, um, the slower that your Smash 4 would run. Sometimes the music can chop up, um, or sometimes loading times, like in between like the loading screens can take a little bit longer. So some of my packs are like really huge, depending on how much you want inside your my pack. Be careful about what size you put in it. So if you're trying to put everything on a two gig memory card, probably not the best idea. Um, the biggest, I'm sorry, the smallest I will probably go is probably at eight gig. Um, but if you have a really meaty my pack, 16 or 32 gigs is probably what you're looking at. Because again, the more stuff you have in your SD card, the more it's full, the more stress you put onto the actually loading time for your Wii U. So something else to keep that in mind. I ran into that issue before. All right, so let's hop into the folders. So we have the SD caffeine, and then we have the Wii U. Um, let's go ahead and start with what should be in the SD caffeine folder. Um, we have our numbers folders here. Like I said, if you guys are from different countries, from like I'm using the US, so this is the US number. Um, if you're using PAL, um, it's a slightly different number. Make sure you guys have the right you know region down um again everything is on that page so make sure you use that page as a reference i might not have this number here um correct because i typed it in so this is like a folder on my desktop not a folder on my sd card so uh if the numbers are wrong it's definitely right on the web page so make sure you check that out inside here um you want to make sure you have a folder called content after that you got to make sure that uh the rest of your things and your patch and your mod pack and things of that nature goes into these folders here. Um, there's obviously there could be more that could be on this thing. This is what I have on mine for the most part. I have like a movie, so when you first start load up Smash Four, it's something like plays or whatever. Um, same thing with patch. You know, you can put things in your patch folder here, like characters or you know, go crazy. Um, same thing with your sounds. You can edit the sounds like you want Japanese sounds or. Anything like that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if your sound, your Japanese sounds go there. It might go with your character model. I'm not a big 100, like, I'm not a person that's really big on the modding part. I'm just, like, demonstrating on how to set up your folder so you can load your mod pack because I've never created my own mod pack yet um, outside of just making music. But I made, um, I just downloaded somebody else's mod pack and I'm using theirs for now. I will probably have mine in the future. Going back to the root, um, we will have a second folder is named Wii U. So we're gonna add Wii U to the root of this folder or the SD card. Um, we're gonna label this apps. 
And then inside your apps folder, those two links that we did we downloaded before, make sure you now link them up now. So we're gonna have a homebrew launcher. Drag that in here. And when, of course, when you download the homebrew launcher thing, it's gonna have like stuff in the folder. I don't have anything here, obviously, because I just typed it in. Just for example, um, you wanna have all your information inside of that folder, and then um, in your SD caffeine folder, make sure you have all your stuff inside of there that you downloaded, and that's all ready to go. And after you have all that, all that down, you have your um, SD card ready to go, and you can go ahead and start launching your mods. So let's go ahead and take it over to the Wii U. All right, we are now on the Wii U. We have our SD card ready inside the Wii. And we're about to go ahead and show you how to do the step two process on how to launch and load your mod pack. All right, and I have my gamepad here. So I might have to wave it into the webcam here to just so you guys can kind of like see it if I need to full screen it or whatever I might do that so it's easier to see um, but for the most part what we're gonna do here is we're going to launch our internet browser so just go straight to your internet browser just take his little time to load up and I already have the uh, website already saved but what you need to have saved and I will put it in the description um, it's might put it somewhere here. I'm not 100% sure, but it will definitely be in the description. So if you need a description, um, looking at, ah, can't talk, look at the description and, um, there's going to be a website down there. It's going to be called load, load in dot O V A or O V H. I want to say, and, um, type that in and make sure you bookmark that on your, uh, web browser. So you don't forget it or anything of that nature. So make sure you have that um, bookmark and ready to go. Um, after that, you're going to be led, led to this page, right? So um, when I first logged into the page, the text was in red. If it's in red, make sure um, <laughs> it's not in red. Type in the website again or something to that nature. And it should be yellow. If it's yellow, then you're thumbs up. If it's red, uh, please leave a comment below. There's a way you can fix that. But... It should work always yellow. I haven't had a problem where it stayed red or anything like that or hurt. Nobody else talked about, oh, it stayed red. So make sure it's yellow. Yellow is Golo. And um, on this part, oops. And I'm a derp head. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. So. Basically, um, you're going to see something similar to the old mod pack. If you guys seen the old mod pack, and of course it's not going to show up here because it's on my gamepad here. You're going to have a Dropbox, right? So basically on that Dropbox, you're going to have like these four sections. Oh, I'm sorry, five options. Um, usually option one works for me pretty well, but you want to go through each of these um, options and make sure which one works for you. And if it does work on that option, it's going to 100% work. 60% of the time because <laughs> there is a 60% uh, success rate for the mod packs to work um, Hopefully it works most of the time, but some people just have really bad luck. So I know number one works for me and um, Hopefully it'll freeze so I can show you an example of what it looks like if it does freeze Versus what it doesn't look like if it goes through so hopefully we get the freeze here If not, I'll show you an example of or demonstrate an example what it looks like when it doesn't work out. Okay, so it worked out. Um, so basically, if if you look at the bottom corner of your me, your me is like bouncing like this, you know, just like so happy with joy. So basically, if he gets stuck like this and the screen is like not faded, it's like just him, just like he was just bouncing, bouncing, and he just sticks. Um, most likely, your your mods didn't work. You would hit the forty percent zone. And just cut the Wii U off and do it again. Um, but again, if it goes kind of like fade white, give it a second and then this will pop up. So this is your SD caffeine that you download on your my pack or on your SD card. So you want to go into launch. And 
And there you go. And there was one thing I just forgot um, at the end of this video. I'm sorry. There's one thing I forgot. Make sure, and I'm going to go back to this really quickly. Make sure that you download this boot.f folder. I forgot to mention this. This needs to be in your, um, your root of your SD card because that's what your homebrew reads when it loads these mod packs so make sure that you have that on your um root or your file so make sure you download this this will also be in the description as well so it should be a total of three things on your root of your folder um so just go back really fast so you should have your sd um caffeine you should have your wii u folder and then you should have your boot dot l folder all on the same page here all right so back to the um Wii U. Um, we're gonna lawn Smash 4. And in due time, we will have mods. So I'm gonna wait here to show you that it works. Alright. This is what's in my movies folder. And look like we have a hack we All right, so music is different. Things are a little bit different and seem like everything is a go. All right, there you guys have it. This is um, Nara's mod pack, just to be honest, if you guys are wondering what mod pack this is. Uh, for the summer mod pack, obviously, because it says right there. But there you guys go. You got the mod packs ready to go. This is how you do mods for 5.52. Hope you guys have a great one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, peace.